All right, this next video is on the P16 monitor system uh, that the band will be using on stage. And this is one of those things that you'll probably end up setting up and then not editing a whole lot, whole lot you know, maybe down the road. Unless, of course, you get um, another musician or another singer and you want their channel to also be on the, the monitor system. And I'll actually have another video on how to use the entire monitor system, you know, as if you know, the, the musicians and worship leaders were uh, watching these videos. So I'll have a whole separate video on how to use the monitor system up there. But continuing from here, this is on the routing page uh, and we're on the t P16 tab. And from here, you basically select what channel you want to edit, um, what P16 channel you want to edit. Like, let's say we want to edit... Um, now let's just say we want to have, um, say, channel 16, 15 and 16 as your uh, stereo outputs. So we'll have channel 15. Uh, you choose a channel in here. This will show what channel is currently it's set at. Um, then from there, I mean, you can choose category just to quickly jump to the next channels. Uh, but let's say we're on uh, mains. From there, we'll select uh, left, and that activates the channel for that. Then we'll go to the next channel, and I'll say let's go to uh, main right. So that's how you set up um, those channels. That's how you select the channel that you want to you know, send from, or have the uh, channel selected. Uh, now what tap is, this is a little bit more uh, complex as far as setup. A tap is basically where you want to select the signal from. Uh, nine, tens out of, nine times out of ten you'll have it on pre-EQ or post-EQ. Uh, you want to have it pre-fader. Uh, this actually is in order, so input, uh, EQ, then fader. So you'll probably have it on either pre-EQ or post-EQ. And the reason for that is because um, the monitor system is controlled by the band. Everyone has their own little system that they they use to basically dial in or you know mix the sound that they want to hear. Um, and if you are back here, you know, running sound on a typical Sunday, and for some reason the piano is quiet, uh, so you bring it up a little bit more, and uh, you, you basically you don't want the changes you're making back here on the board to affect what the band is hearing in their monitor system, which is why we do a pre-fader send. Uh, these are all pre-fader sends, even the one that just says pre-fader, that's a pretty simple uh, you know, name for it. Because it sends, this could be, the volumes could all be down, and they're still going to get signal in their monitors, in their headphones. Um, so that is why you would want to do a pre-fader. Now for something you might want to do a post-fader send, the post-fader is the last one right here. A post-fader send means that when the volume is changed back here, it is also changed in their monitor system. And something you might want to use that for is something like a, uh, a computer, or maybe if you had um, you know, an MP3 player, uh, the band wants to hear when that is actually playing. And say if it's muted uh, back here, um, we want the band to hear it muted up there. So if it's, say you fade it out, you have it on computer, the computer channel right here, and you fade that out, you want the band to hear that it has faded out so they can start the next song. Uh, so that is why you might want a post-fader send, but like I said, 9 out of 10 times you'll have it on a pre-fader send. So you'll have it selected either pre-fader or maybe just any of these other ones. Um, I'll actually set this up so it is almost always going to be on pre-fader, and that way it's a, a very, very simple setup for you guys later. Um, and just keep in mind, if you do add another channel, um, you know, I see you've got a plenty of these open, like stage right four, you've got a plenty of these um, channels that are not being used at the moment. So uh, when you do add other channels, you'll select the channel you want to change it on the P16, select the channel that you're wanting to send, so let's say Fred, channel one, and then we'll say, let's go pre-fader send. And that's how you set up the P16 monitor system.